time lapse you know and showed you um can't remember what i was doing now i uh, fit the brake lines back to the abs unit uh test the tape you know fabric tape some of the loom um what else did we do uh can't remember did we, we've been doing bits and bobs anyway just here and there uh, messing about I ran out of test the tape so i've left the loom you know like underneath the dash just a bit messy because it's not affecting anyone but uh, we don't need it up there yet i'll just rather just wait for the tape uh or some more for eBay, but then I wanted to speak to you and show you a couple of things. Um, what well, we've been delivered. Well, we've got three things, but I haven't, um, I, I haven't brought the other one up here yet because it's got my mum and dad's house. But we've had uh, the windscreen arrive from Ricky Evans um, Motorsport, the heated windscreen. So that's at mum and dad's. There's not one already, we're not at that stage yet, not for another week or so. We've got the carbon rear quarters to do, which is now priority. Um, I'm going to do that this afternoon and tomorrow, uh, lay the carbon onto the quarters um, then we can, when they're done, we can bond the uh, roof in and the front and back window. The back window is not turned up yet, um, but that's coming through Tegua uh, from ACW. Anyway, the, the couple of things I wanted to show you on top of that are, um, I'm just looking through, where's that? Um, yeah, anyway, sorry, the, um, we've had all the fuel system stuff's arrived, uh, so basically, I'll, I'll open it and, um, and show you, we've got, we've got AN, um, I can't remember if I told you about this, but we will, I, I put the input in AN8, um, I did tell you about it, uh, AN8 for the feed line, PTFE, which looks like it's going to be delightful to uh, put the fittings on. I've never done this before. Uh, I've only ever done normal um, AN fittings, normal, I say, nitrile pipe, you know, rubber pipe. Um, and we've got an AN6 for the return. The reason I did this is because we've go, we're going ethanol and the alloy pipes are only rated to E25 and I'm going E50. So we need these lines. So that's them. We've got, I won't bore you by going through all the various fittings, but we've got um, I'll go through that one. But we've got a bag full of fittings, you know, uh, uh, return fittings and feed fittings and banjos for the pump to make it A and A. And they're all in there. They're all from Torx. I always get everything from Torx because it's banging. Um, this is a nice little bit that we've got. We've got a, a billet, billet um, clamp. Um, thanks to my dad, by the way, for all this, because the, all this stuff now, I've got to like a little bit of a slower period uh, while I catch up uh, financially. Uh, but my dad's bought all these, so the build didn't have to slow down, because um, we're really near the end now anyway, and I just, yeah, anyway. Big thanks to dad, the, uh, the bank of dad. <laughs> um, yeah, I've uh, got... I've got a few fittings, AN8 and AN6, because the line that's in the bonnet that goes to the rails currently is AN6. So we're not, we don't want to change that yet until we go up in power and then I'll double put a double pump in the boot in the in the back, you know, a two Bosch 04s. Then we'll change the front rail lines to AN8 
and the fittings that go in the front of the rails because the rails are fine for it just the just that one line that goes to the y splitter and then to the front of the rails but anyway uh, for now we've got one of these bosch f5021 whatever it is but uh one of these i don't know how many mic on it is nine maybe is it anyway it's really like a bosch motorsport i might even be a bosch motorsport it might just be like one of a car that people are using a lot but yeah i've got a nice little um torx billet uh mount and that's going to go in the engine bay i don't know if i'm going to be getting around to doing this today because i've got the quarters to prepare for the carbon layout tomorrow so i might do that depends what time i can uh, stay till but yeah that just that just goes in there you get the idea so um yeah, the big thing that's arrived today, uh, no, not, not today, sorry, uh, it arrived yesterday, but um, I was busy yesterday, so I didn't uh, announce it. Basically, um, a guy that I race with uh, called Ed Winfield, he's got a, I think he's about 800, maybe 850 horsepower uh, wagon, uh, in Pretzel Classic wagon. He raced in Run What You Bring with us last year. Um, yeah, anyway, he's been watching along the videos, he'll be watching now, but um, a massive thanks to him for for um, giving us these, but he's basically, he's had a load of uh, rear axles made up in um, F1 grid, it's, it's I've got it written down, it's Bola S155 and it's a 300M category steel. Uh, so basically at work, at Airbus, we've got the, the ailerons um, and the flaps and they're controlled by like a torque bar that runs all down the uh, trailing edge of the aircraft. And this is the same material as what is used in them torque bars. So obviously it's really important for if there are any issues that they don't warp or twist or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. Uh, look, they look uh, pretty epic. So yeah, there we are. And there, the rear axles so the retaining clip will fit back in um, and then just go straight into the stub axle but yeah a uh, massive shout out to uh, Ed for supplying them uh, mega um, and he, he didn't want any money for him he wouldn't take any money off me but yeah uh, big thanks Ed um, helping the build so we'll get these fitted next week um, obviously I've got the axles on at the minute so when we take them all off to put I won't spoil it but we've got some other bits come in um, so when we take them off, to swap them over, we'll swap these over. But yeah, I'll put you back on time lapse anyway, and we'll crack on. Um, we'll we'll carry on with prepping the arches and quarters. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> I've not had loads on um, on the old time lapse today, but I think uh, I've had enough. Uh, I think it was about eight or nine minutes to you know, um, the video length in total. But I just want to run over. Um, I don't want to do stuff and not have it on video for my own like for my own records as well, you know, because I, uh, I want everything on, on video. But anyway, um, I'll run over what we what we've done today. To, uh, we've had a good uh, productive day on it. I didn't, uh, I can't remember what I said I was going to do, uh, but um, I ended up doing the fuel system. I always th I thought in my head, fuel system, lines, 10 minutes, just run them through, poke them through the bulkhead, done, finished. It, it wasn't. <laughs> it's half past seven now, um, and we've been, uh, it was a wee this time as well, me and my mate, we've been all day doing it. So, um, what we had to do is, I'll just move this out of it. We have had to mount the filter in the little billet thing what I showed you. So I'll get in and show you. You see it down there? Let me get the torch on it. Let me flip that. There's the fuel filler there. AN uh, PTFE AN8. 
going to an AN6, going underneath to the original rails. Um, the oil catch cam was there in that position. So this is the EVAP line, the um, breather from the tank. Um, so anyway, we, we had to move it. We had to move the oil catch cam and I'd made a real nice little, I'll show you it. I made a real nice little carbon bracket for it ages ago when I, uh, when I had spare time to do shit like this, but um, that, like this nice little uh, roof nut, little carbon fiber thing and it had uh, some powder coated other brackets and it, it, it looked real nice. So I didn't want to get rid of it, but anyway, it's gone. Uh, Sergio will be pleased because he's lighter. <laughs> Anything, uh, any weight coming off the car is uh, is a good thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we've moved it. It's, it's probably better where it is now, to be honest. Uh, it's on the bulkhead and I've riv nutted it solidly onto the bulkhead, so it, it can't move. It had a bit of movement in it before on that carbon one. Obviously, carbon flexes quite a lot. But yeah, that's, I won't bore you going through the breather system, but one breather in there, another breather in there. It's got a baffle in it and it's vent to atmosphere. I uh, just did have a filter on it, but I keep buying them Ram Air filters and they just keep falling to bits. So, and I'm, I, I, it's not even like I've had it on the car a long time. That's probably been on the car like three months, the old Ram Air filter, uh, and they just they fall to bits of crap. They're meant to be an oil breather filter as well, so don't buy those if you're, uh, if you're needing a, an oil breather cap thing, whatever. Um, so yeah, we've, I can't even remember what we've, we've done, we've done loads. The return line's in, PTFE, that one there, uh, 90 and then going to PTFE through the bulkhead. Uh, all the wiring's done, ev literally everything under the bonnet's done now, I think. Uh, oil um, for the gauges, you know, the little, uh, that line there, that one, just bolts underneath, that's in. Uh, boost um, reference line for the, uh, Dash two and the gauge in the middle. Uh, air fills on, waiting for the boost pipes to, I've not heard back off Johnny yet, just to send payment over, but he's obviously busy. He'll get back to me when, uh, whenever. Um, we've noted the uh, boost control solenoid on there, just a little Mac solenoid. Put the brake lines on, so ABS modules all plumbed up now, front and rear lines. I've just got two rear lines to run I've got the cage going through the bulkhead where the original lines go, so I've just got to fab up that. I don't actually know why I've put the strut brace back on, but got to fab up some brake lines to go to the to the rear of the car. So yeah, uh, I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with it today, to be honest. I, I got into a bit of a nothing was going right mode again earlier, and went and had some lunch and then came back and it sound <laughs> as usual. So I'll give you a look. I'll give you a quick look inside. That's still the same. Well, I said I ran out of uh, tape. Do you know the, what's it called? The tester tape, fabric tape. Um, it's probably better if I go around the other side to show you this. I haven't finished the EVAP line yet in there, but I did take the boot off to start prepping the quarters for the carbon, but I had a change of heart halfway, well, when I got back after lunch, I thought I don't want to do that, so. Um, oh, that was the one I was going to show you. You've probably seen that on the time lapse. So I've, I've uh, tested taped all the um, rear loom. Done. One job, boxed off, finished. Uh, yeah, what are we looking at here? So, uh, all the lines, I swapped the, to an A and 8 on the fuel pump. I've just put it in a bag so I don't get crap all over it. Uh, Swap that A and 8 fit in there. Um, that's, what's that one for? Uh, return from the fuel tank to the surge tank. Uh, got that little uh, elbow fit in there for the um, the feed from the fuel tank. Uh, this is the AN8, which I haven't cut yet because I don't know the length of it. The pump's like here somewhere, so once cut in here, but it goes underneath the car there. This is to the top of the surge tank. Bang, straight on top of there, return, AN6. PCFE again, and that's the EVAP for the breather. Uh, and I've put it all, plumbed it all down. One minute. Put it there. Excuse that mess. I'll get in. Ugh, it's not nice to get in this car anymore. But, oh, fucking hell. So, 
there we uh, there we have this is the evap um ignore that it's gonna go it's got some nice i've ordered some nice little plastic p clips i'm gonna rivet it in drill it and rivet it in uh, along the top there but i have put all of the Ooh. i have put all of the little p clip you know these um, the, the thicker lines got the rubbers off them. Uh, so the, this is the A and 8 and then this one's the A and 6 return. So, uh, yeah, it looks a bit messy. Well, not messy, but these ones are going in the tester tape. This is the um, feed for the pump and the switch wires for the pump, which go up to there. Uh, so yeah, that nicely P-clips on the centre. This nicely P-clips along the centre with it. Sorry, you can't see. Um, yeah, them, them two. Uh, and this was just getting wrapped in the test tape. So, yeah, that that is uh, that is today for for us. Uh, one little interesting thing. Um, I got I got a bit carried away the other day, um, and cut out the whole of this side of the car of the the wires that go into here. So the ones for the seat belt thing pretensioner and the airbag modules and stuff in there and got a bit too carried away and went and cut out the abs uh, wheel speed sensor this wire so i had the delight earlier of going back through that ball of mess out there that ball of mess to try and find that abs sensor wire <laughs> luckily i've not been an idiot and just cut everything out. What I'd done is, I'll show you. This is the connector here. So what I'd actually done is, um, I'd, if you can see it, can you see the, the, green, the, the yellow and blue wire and the yellow and green wire? I'd actually removed it from this multi-block. So the bottom two there, the blue and red and the blue, are the uh, driver side rear, it's wheel speed sensor input. And then these two nicely spun together are the passenger side um, wheel speed sensor input. So luckily I de-pinned it from the connector block, you know, not hastily cut it with the side cutters. And yeah, it must've been fit. <laughs> it's, uh, I've, I found it, put it back in. Um, yeah, it could have been much worse, but that's back in now. Cause obviously I would have gone to all the effort of putting the ABS back in and then not had the ABS because the wheel speed sensor would have been unplugged in theoretically. Well, it would have been the same as unplugging it. So anyway, that's sorted. Another little uh, issue. There's never a day when it goes by and there's not a little drama or issue to uh, overcome, but yeah, we're sorted. Uh, we're getting there. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Oh, I'll try and get out of this thing now. Um, yeah, tune in, uh, tune in tomorrow. It looks, it does look, uh, it's starting to look good. I stood in front of it earlier, then it looked, uh, yeah, it looks looks pretty uh, looks pretty good. But yeah, tune in tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing more, and then I'm gonna have a couple of days off. Oh, nearly dropped it. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, a couple of days off because I'm uh, I'm knackered. I'm burning the uh, burning the wick at both ends. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, take it easy, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.